And what do you think of Spring, PHP, and the future of web development? Is there other way to get a remote job other than Fiverr and Upwork? You build relationships in your own country, and then you fuck off, and you keep those relationships. So imagine this, you are a developer, let's say you are a backend developer, full stack developer, for example. Make friends with somebody that has an agency. Those people need programmers like a motherfucker. So make five, make five friends, five friends that have an agency, each one of them, right? They will give you jobs because they are out there. They are the ones making the sale. They are the ones doing shit, right? You can just go to fucking Chiang Mai and they will tell you, hey, there is a job. Can you do it? Yes. That is the best kind of remote work. The one that is made by a relationship that you built when you were in Korea, for example, and then you can just fuck off and they know that you are the guy that they can outsource programming to. It's hard to find a remote job online when you are nobody and when you compete with the Indians, with Europeans, with South Americans, with everybody. But when you can have friends and they have some contacts and then you can just keep those contacts and do some Skype meetings, it's amazing. I met many people that work like that. They just have some contacts in their home country and that country may, gives them, um, um, I don't know, outsourcing. And what do you think of Spring, PHP and the future of web development? All right. Uh, Spring is Java. I fucking hate Java. So I think that people have to use it. If it does the job, it's okay. But I just don't like Java overall because it, it's controlled by a company and it, that's kind of fucked. So I don't like that that much. And also I think that the tooling and the community moves faster in JavaScript and I think it's more fun there. PHP. I respect the PHP people a lot. I don't use PHP, but I respect them a lot. Uh, PHP is super fucking used runs on any server. It's like the easiest programming language for the backend to get started with. Um, the thing about PHP is that it allows me to be a shitty programmer. By this, I mean that I think that a good programming language is a programming language that puts some rules and it makes you do shit. I think that PHP lets people do whatever the fuck they want. And that because everything works and whatever you do will work. And there is no actual way of doing things then the code becomes disgusting. Of course, you can do many amazing things with PHP. I just wouldn't like to use it. What is the future of web development? I believe that the machines are going to take away the jobs of the front-end developers that do not specialize in something. And I think that eventually they're going to push everybody to the full stack life because doing HTML, CSS will not be enough. Their stuff is called, well, there's one tool called Supernova, for example, that generates the pages for you. It generates React code. So you, you don't even have to, you don't do anything. You just do the, the, the wireframe, you click export, and it, and it gives you React JS code. That's insane. And that's, that's going to push us, all of us, to become like a full stack or even more specialized. So I think that um, the future web development is very automi uh, automi automated, I think. And we are going to need developers not to make a website with five, five pages about, about us, contact us and whatever that's going to go away. And also in the future of backend, I think serverless is going to take a lot, a lot and, um, stuff like Amazon API getaway or Lambda or, uh, app sync or shit like that, which we have a course coming soon. Um, I think it's going to take a lot of backend jobs as well. So it's gonna be like a big, before the lines were very like the uh, database and then backend and then frontend. And now we're pushing to like, if you're backend, you have to know frontend. So now it's like full stack. And then the databases are being managed. So stuff like Prisma, for example, or DynamoDB. So then it's like, it's a big blur, the same everywhere. So yeah, that's the future, I guess. It's a little bit chaotic. I want to start study open source, but I don't know what's my project. Can you suggest a small open source project for a junior programmer? All right. This is a good question. When you were studying, you can study open source stuff. And it's a very good thing. Like it depends on what you do. Right. But if you're studying something, go for like open source libraries and look at what they do It's very, a very good idea. I could say that, for example, if you wanted to, if you're, I don't know about your question, Abigor, um, I think that if you're learning maybe JavaScript, I don't know. I would suggest you to go and read the Redux source code. The Redux source code is cool. Like it's a very good learning uh, thing. I read it 
when I was beginning Redux and it, it kind of makes click stick. It's not as big as you think. Look, it's like fucking six things, right? And it's not hard. It's super well commented. It says create a Redux store, blah, blah, blah. It's super well commented and you will understand like it's super good. It's not compressed at all. And it's a very good read. So for example, Redux.js, I would recommend you to read the code if you want to like check it out a bit. Um, I also looked into the uh, hooks source code. Gaiden, I think the guy that makes React.js hooks API source code, I think React. And I also, it was a very interesting, it was a very interesting uh, read as well. It was a good lecture actually to read. So these kind of projects, the ones that you use, this guy is the beast, it's amazing. Any mod, are there any more meetups while you're in Korea? Definitely are, definitely are. Please be, stay tuned in the Slack channel because the meetups are not super programmed. We just ask people if they wanna meet and they say yes, and then we make a group and we go for a beer, so. Okay. Do you think of using database service like Firebase? Go ahead. Firebase, Prisma, all those. If they help you do something faster, do it. I used Firebase before. I prefer Prisma, but do it. Definitely. What do you think about Flutter? Is it available in the future? Definitely. I think Flutter, I mean, surprised me a couple of days ago. I saw some prototypes. It was insane. And that's why I'm planning a course on Flutter because it's kicking React Native ass. Flutter, Flutter, Flutter. What is your favorite Korean food? Oh my God. My favorite Korean food is tonkase, but also I like kimchi jjigae. Sangyeopsal is insane, but it got me very fat, so I need to stop Sangyeopsal for a little bit. I also really like the meat here. I like ramen. I It's everything, like everything. Korea is an amazing place for food. Uh, jajangmyeon is insane. Um, everything. There is some stuff that I don't know the name of, but it's everything. I love everything. But especially tonkas. I love fucking tonkas. Tonkas is amazing. Not the Japanese version, because the Japanese version is always super small. I like the big Ajoshi version. Oh my god, one hour! Hello, Flynn! <laughs> if you don't want to see live streams, then no live streams. Let us know what else you want to see. I can eat and code, whatever. Let me know what you want to see, okay? Stop streaming, kaput.